that was pretty gnarly. I mean... Welcome to Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson. We're out in the middle of the Utah desert and I've got Randall Duke here with me. Randall, what are we doing out here? Is this your bike? This is my bike, Kyle. This is the one I won. He, awesome contest. He had to come all the way across the country. Mm -hmm. So we brought, Randall won the hot August sweepstakes for Dirt Bike Channel. This is the prize that he won, but he also, we brought him out here, flew him from Tennessee, put him up in a hotel, him and his wife last night. And then him and I drove out here to the middle of the desert to do some riding. Um, so yeah, this is the bike and, yeah. and you're, we're gonna ship this to you. What do you think? I'm super excited. <laughs> this is a, this is a awesome looking bike. It's gonna be a huge upgrade from my old uh, 20 something year old bike that I ride right now. You've got a KDX 220, right? Yes, yes. So cool. Yes, and this tune port with no jetting and stuff. I look forward to experiencing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I told, I told Randall, because this bike is brand new, I haven't done anything to it, and I told him um, he could either ride this one or he could ride one of mine that's already set up with some, with some guards on it. He's like, I'll ride one of yours. So we're gonna come out here and put some time um, on this other 250, we've got a 300 XCW and a 250XC. Randall actually won the brand new 2021 KTM 250 XCW TPI. Amazing bike, these things are absolutely killer. Um, and I, I couldn't be happier for him. I think he's pretty excited. Really excited. So yeah, we're gonna go put some time on these other two bikes out here in the desert. It's something, it's a place that Randall has never been to. And so we were wanting to do some mountain single track, but it's here in October. It's actually the 20th of October and we had snow in the mountains. So we kind of got yeah. snowed out of the mountains, but we've got some awesome desert stuff out here. Amazing, iconic stuff. So tell us just a little bit about, you're, you work at a cancer treatment center. You're a registered nurse, yes, right? Yes, I'm a registered nurse at the Kirkland Cancer Center. It's in Jackson, Tennessee. And uh, we do chemo infusions and radiation infusions for uh, a lot of folks in the West Tennessee area. That's so cool. Helping a lot of good people. That's right. It, it, so. it, it serves a lot of folks for uh, the Midwest Tennessee area. So good, good folk, a lot of good folks that works there too. That's fantastic. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna shut down the cameras, get geared up and go out for a little ride and maybe we'll check back in with you guys later. What'd you think of that? That was pretty gnarly. I'm not used to climbing rocks like that or, or descending down from rocks like that. You did so. great. That was a drilling rush for sure. Well, Randall, what'd you think of the Utah desert? Oh man, Kyle, it is awesome out here. <laughs> nothing uh, like nothing I've ever ridden before, really. Uh, the the sand took some getting used to. Uh, the rock uh, riding was was amazing. I have never, you know, small rocks and stuff. I'm a little used to, but I have never ridden over rocky mountainside like this. And uh, yeah, it was just amazing. I just bike could grip and, and hold when I'm used to sliding around when it comes on rocks. <laughs> yeah, today we were on the slick rock, but it's not very slick with these gummy tires. We ran two different types of gummy tires and we swapped on the bikes and stuff. Did Which which bike did you end up liking better? The You started on the 250 mm -hmm. XC and then you finished on the 300 XCW. Did you have a preference? Uh, not really. I mean, the the uh, the, the 250, like I said, it, it did, did feel like it revved pretty quick. Uh -huh. Um, and so I, I noticed that, but I noticed it could handle uh, some of the, uh, the some of the hits a little better on the yeah. front front forks than yeah. the 300. Uh, but still, the 300 did great. It was as far as you know, lugging up those hills. I couldn't, uh, 
I couldn't ask it to do any, any more. Yeah, we just hit a hill over here to kind of end the day and, and Randall kind of powered out the first time and then the second time he gave it just a little bit more and he made it up. Yeah. It's amazing what these bikes will do if you just stay on the peg, stay in the power. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for participating in that sweepstakes. Well, and congratulations on winning that brand new bike in there. Yeah, Kyle, I appreciate it. And thanks a lot for uh, bringing me out here and, and letting me enjoy this awesome place to ride. I yeah. really appreciate it. You are welcome. So, hey, if you haven't entered in any of the sweepstakes, I've got one that's still going in in October. I don't know if this video will come out in October, but there will be another one in December if you miss out on that one. So uh, stay tuned for that. Dirtbikechannel.com, you can get entered to win these sweepstakes. It's one of the ways that I... Um, support this project called Dirt Bike Channel. So you guys are helping in that process. And uh, all, the, all the details are over at dirtbikechannel.com. We've given away 17 motorcycles, and by the time in a few more days, I'll have given away 18 different dirt bikes. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, you can use the links down in the video description to support. Uh, and yeah, any parting thoughts before you uh, we head home and then you got to go back to work in Tennessee? Yeah, got to go right back to work and uh, I'm thankful I've uh, had a good ride and I'm coming back without any, any broken bones or <laughs> broken doors. So you had great body position. I yeah. followed you a couple times and I was very impressed. I liked your body position, your posture. I liked your toes, how they were pointed in. You stayed balanced on the bike and so I was actually quite impressed. Appreciate it. I tell you, these 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 bikes. I'm used to riding older stuff, and these these new bikes sure sure instills a lot of confidence that I didn't have prior. Totally. <laughs> that that's a great way to say it. These two bikes here have given me more confidence than just about anything else. And the we live kind of in the golden age of dirt bikes right now. I hope it doesn't come to an end because there's some amazing machines out there. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Randall. And uh, until next time, leave a single track.